First things first, what exactly is the C929? It's China's answer to the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350, a wide-body, long-haul aircraft designed to carry hundreds of passengers across continents. But here's the kicker. It's not just a Chinese project. It's a joint effort between China's COMAC and Russia's UAC. Think of it as a high-stakes partnership to take on the aviation giants. So, how does it stack up? The C929 is designed to fly over 12,000 kilometers. That's enough to go from New York to Hong Kong without stopping. It's also fuel efficient, thanks to its lightweight materials and advanced engines. But here's the big question. Can it match the safety and reliability standards of Boeing and Airbus? That's something airlines and passengers will be watching closely. Now let's talk about why China is pouring billions into aviation. It's not just about building planes, it's about becoming a global superpower in the skies. The C-929 is a key piece of that puzzle. China wants to reduce its reliance on Western aircraft and create its own supply chain. That means producing everything from engines to avionics right at home. And they're not just copying Western designs, they're innovating. For example, China is investing heavily in composite materials, which make planes lighter and more fuel efficient. But here's the twist. This isn't just about economics. It's also about geopolitics. By building its own aircraft, China is sending a message to the world, we don't need the West to succeed. Boeing and Airbus have been the undisputed kings of the skies for decades. Together, they control over 90% of the global wide-body aircraft market. But now there's a new player in town, China's C-929. And it's not just another plane. It's a symbol of China's ambition to challenge the West's dominance in aviation. Both Boeing and Airbus have built their empires on innovation, reliability, and decades of experience. But here's the thing. They've never faced a competitor like China, a country with deep pockets, a massive domestic market, and a government willing to pour billions into aviation. So how are they responding? First, they're doubling down on innovation. Boeing is investing in next-gen aircraft like the 777X, which promises better fuel efficiency and longer range. Airbus, on the other hand, is pushing the boundaries with its A350 XWB, designed to compete directly with the C929. Both companies know that to stay ahead, they need to keep pushing the envelope. But innovation isn't cheap. Developing a new aircraft can cost tens of billions of dollars. And with China breathing down their necks, Boeing and Airbus can't afford to slow down. The question is, can they keep up with China's pace? Here's where things get tricky. China isn't just a competitor, it's also a customer. Chinese airlines are some of the biggest buyers of Boeing and Airbus planes. But what happens if they start switching to the C-929? It's not just a hypothetical question. China has already signaled that it wants its airlines to buy domestically made aircraft. And with the C-929 on the horizon, that could mean fewer orders for Boeing and Airbus. And let's not forget, China's aviation market is growing faster than anywhere else in the world. By 2040, China is expected to overtake the U.S. as the largest aviation market. If Boeing and Airbus lose their foothold there, it could have a huge impact on their bottom line. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, geopolitics. The United States and China are locked in a tense rivalry, and aviation is just one piece of the puzzle. The United States could impose trade restrictions to protect Boeing, but here's the catch. China is a major supplier of raw materials like titanium, which are essential for building planes. Without these materials, Boeing and Airbus could face serious supply chain disruptions. It's a delicate balancing act. On one hand, the United States wants to protect its aviation industry. On the other hand, it can't afford to cut ties with China completely. This isn't just about Boeing and Airbus. The entire global aviation supply chain is interconnected. If tensions between the United States and China escalate, it could create a domino effect. For example, if China restricts the export of titanium, it could delay the production of planes worldwide. And that's not good for anyone, airlines, passengers, or manufacturers. We're already seeing some of these challenges, says one airline executive. The pandemic disrupted supply chains, and now geopolitical tensions are adding another layer of uncertainty. It's a tough time to be in the aviation business. So what does all this mean for the future of aviation? For Boeing and Airbus, the stakes couldn't be higher. They're not just fighting for market share. They're fighting to maintain their dominance in an industry that's been their playground for decades. But with China's rise, the rules of the game are changing. 
And for the United States, it's about more than just economics. Aviation is a symbol of American innovation and power. If China succeeds in challenging Boeing and Airbus, it could signal a shift in global influence. The question is, can the United States adapt to this new reality, or will it lose its edge in the skies? Now let's zoom out and look at the big picture. The global aviation market is like a giant chessboard, and the C-929 is China's boldest move yet. But will airlines around the world actually choose it over Boeing and Airbus? The answer isn't simple. It's a mix of economics, politics, and a shifting global order. Let's start with Asia. This region is the fastest growing aviation market in the world. By 2040, it's expected to account for nearly 40% of all global air traffic. That's a massive opportunity for aircraft manufacturers. And here's the thing. Many of these airlines are looking for affordable, fuel-efficient planes to meet their growing demand. Enter the C-929. If the C-929 can deliver on its promises, lower costs, comparable performance and reliable service, it could become the go-to choice for airlines in Asia, Africa, and the Middle East. These regions are hungry for wide-body jets that can connect their growing cities to the rest of the world. And if China offers attractive financing deals or political incentives, the C-929 could gain a strong foothold. But it's not just about economics. Politics plays a huge role in which planes airlines buy. For countries with close ties to China, choosing the C-929 could be a way to strengthen those relationships. On the other hand, airlines in the United States and Europe might be more hesitant. They've built decades of trust with Boeing and Airbus, and switching to a new player like Comac would be a big risk. Plus, with geopolitical tensions running high, some countries might see buying Chinese planes as a political statement they're not ready to make. Now let's talk about the ripple effect. If the C-929 gains traction, it could force Boeing and Airbus to step up their game. Competition is a powerful motivator. We've seen it before. When Airbus introduced the A380, Boeing responded with the 787 Dreamliner. Both planes pushed the boundaries of what was possible in aviation. So what could this mean for the future? We might see faster innovation, more fuel-efficient planes, and even lower ticket prices for passengers. But here's the catch. Boeing and Airbus will have to work harder to stay ahead. That could mean investing billions in new technologies or finding ways to cut costs without compromising quality. At the end of the day, what does all this mean for you as a passenger? Well, more competition could lead to better options. Imagine flying on a plane with more legroom, better entertainment systems, and lower ticket prices. That's the potential upside of the C-929 entering the market. But there's also the question of safety and reliability. Boeing and Airbus have decades of experience and a proven track record. The C-929 is still untested on a global scale. So, while it might be tempting to fly on a shiny new Chinese plane, passengers will likely want to see how it performs over time. So, is the C-929 the beginning of a new era in aviation? It's too early to say for sure. But one thing is clear. The global aviation industry is at a crossroads. China's entry into the wide-body market could shake things up in ways we haven't seen in decades. It could push Boeing and Airbus to innovate faster, which means better planes for you as a passenger. So will the C-929 truly challenge Boeing and Airbus? It's not just about building a plane, it's about reshaping the global aviation industry. China's rise in aviation could mean more choices for airlines, faster innovation, and even lower ticket prices for you. But it also raises big questions about the future of US dominance in the skies. One thing's for sure, the race for aviation supremacy is heating up, and the C-929 is just the beginning. What do you think? Will China's aviation ambitions take flight? Or will Boeing and Airbus stay on top? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the stories shaping our world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.